Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another hobby tip video. This one will be fairly short and cover a very simple topic which is water. We use water for a lot of stuff in the hobbying. We wash our brushes in it, we thin our paints, we put it in the wet palette, we clean the airbrush and we put it on the sculpting tools to stop the clay from sticking. So very useful and essential stuff. And for the most part, you can use ordinary tap water and it will be perfectly fine for our purposes. I used that for years and years for all of it and never had any, any trouble really. But for some purposes, particularly the airbrush, cleaning it and things like that, it can be wise to at least consider using distilled water, pure water. Because tap water does contain some small amounts of other stuff than water such as calcium, magnesium, chlorine, lead, hopefully not that much lead, and also nanoplastics and tons of other stuff. But again, very, very small amounts. So often, most of the time it's not something to worry about, even for purposes of hobbying. But with the airbrush in particular, you kind of want to be careful with everything that you put through it. The more stuff that you allow to go through the airbrush, the more risk it is of something clogging it up, and you, you don't want that. So using pure water is a little bit safer. That said, I, you can probably go ahead using tap water for it for a long time, and it, it won't hurt it. Like, it's, it's probably not that big a deal. But if you want to be extra careful, you can use distilled water, pure water. And also, it should be said that depending on where you live in the world, the uh, tap water will have different contents in it. Some some places it's more additives, some places it's less, and depending on that, can be varying degrees of necessity to replace it with pure water. So personally, I keep a handy little bottle of pure water with my with me when I'm painting. I use this to refill my wet palette and I, to clean my airbrush. And as you can see, it's getting a bit uh, empty here, so I need, need to refill it, and I thought I could show you how to do it, which sounds like a simple way, but the thing that it, the video will really be about is a way to access pure distilled water easily in your own home. You can buy it in a store, and if you want to spend money on that, of course do it. Um, it might be even be easier than, uh, than the method I'm, I'm suggesting, but uh, I wanted to make a video where I show you a way that you can access pure water easily in your own home pretty much for free. And for that, we're going to the bathroom. Or more precisely, the laundry room, which in my home is the same room. And here we have the dryer, magical piece of equipment. You put wet clothes in and dry clothes come out. Fairly fantastic. But what happens to the water? And the answer might differ a bit from country to country and the exact make of dryer you have. But in Sweden, Sweden at least, it is common that the water is collected into a large tank, like this one. And what's in here is pretty much pure water. I mean, after all, the dryer, it heats up the water in the clothes and pulls it out and then the condensation is collected and put into this tank. So it's pretty much distilled water, so perfect for our purposes. We can simply take it and pour it into a bottle using a funnel over here. And it gets everywhere, but it doesn't really matter. We have there's plenty of water in this tank to last us a long time. So something like that, we just put the tank back. And what we have here then is pretty much pure water, or at least we wish it were. There's one little problem. The dryer isn't perfect, and even though it has some filters and stuff, it uh, can happen that some pieces of uh, fiber and other bits and dirt and stuff, uh, hopefully not too much dirt, but um, does get through and end up in the water tank. And we don't want those going through our airbrush, so we're going to take another bottle 
and use the funnel again. And this time we're gonna put in a filter. You can use a filter directly, but I find it easier to do it in two steps because that large tank is a bit hard to control. So we'll just pour the water through the filter to get rid of any dirt. And this is not a super fast process because the water has actually has to go through the filter, which is a bit tedious. So using them, some movie magic will just cut to where I'm finished with this and I can give you the final words before we close this off. And there we have it. Pretty much pure water that we can fill up our little bottle with when we need it. This is fairly pure, pretty much pure. I'm sure that if you buy distilled water it might be even purer and at least it's like more reli reliably pure, but given that this is a free res resource that's available in, in your house, it's pretty nice. And it's definitely definitely better than tap water. So as I said I use this to clean my airbrush and I use it to uh, thin my paint, paint sometimes and refill my wet palette. But one, one last tip with it is that distilled water can also be useful for watering sensitive plants such as orchids. So that's another handy use of it. So with that I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!